Hi, I'm Kath and I'm a volunteer at Highbury Orchard Community. Uh, it's based between Kings Heath and Moseley in Highbury Park. This uh, orchard has been here for about 10 years. It's uh, a community space. We've got lots and lots of local volunteers who come down. We have got a lot of apple trees, we've got some quince, we've got some plum trees, loads of herbs, I'm growing some vegetables. It's supposed to be a space where people can come grow food, take it away. We also run forest school sessions um, for both children and adults and it's just a really lovely calm place to be. We're part of the Mother Garden Network so what we want to do is help uh, encourage people to grow stuff at home. We're going to propagate stuff which means that we can grow stuff, split it, give it to people and they can grow on stuff and we're part of the Home Grow Project so we're one of the, the places where you can come and collect plants and compost and seeds so that you can grow stuff at home. Okay, hi, we're going to just uh, be sowing some seeds today. So, I've got three packets of seeds here, they're all different sizes. I've got some spinach, I've got some rocket, and I've got some runner beans. Runner beans, the quintessential seed. Um, I just think these are amazing, that in here, there's all the stuff needed for plants to grow. Um, what we need to do with these is put them somewhere warm, put them somewhere wet, they can germinate which just means they start growing, the roots will come down, the shoots will come up. You can use pots, you can use seed trays, or if you haven't got any of them, I've got some cups and I've got an egg box. But the process is the same with everything. We're just going to fill it with compost, probably just over two thirds full, pat it down. You can wash it with a watering can. Or, if you don't have a watering can, here's my sports bottle. You don't need anything that's really special to grow stuff with. If you are going to grow in something like a paper cup, put some holes in the bottom. That's just to let the water out. Again, exactly the same thing. You can get really special seed compost, which is just finer, finer soil. It doesn't really have very much nutrients in it. Um, I found things grow just as well in this. I'll just put some in here. Just tap it down. Don't even need a trowel. And again, if you're going to use something like an egg box, just put a hole in the bottom so the water can come out. going to get this damp. So with big seeds, like bean seeds, I'm just going to put one in each of these. Just going to use my finger, make a little hole, push them in. Let's put uh, one in there. And then you just want to sprinkle some soil over the top. You don't need to tap this bit down. And then again, just give it a water. We've got some spinach here, slightly bigger seeds. So what I do with these is I sprinkle a few in each of these. These little square ones are called cells more than one so you're giving them you know chance for at least one or two to germinate let's put some in there and then same idea cover it with soil and give it water make sure they're covered that really is to keep them, just keep them warm. They need to be warm and dark to germinate. Here we've got some rocket seeds. Rocket is my absolute favourite salad. And these are very small. You see tiny, tiny seeds there. So you've got tiny seeds. 
just sprinkle a few in your pot or in your cell again quite a few so we know that some are going to germinate oh, I do that. so this tray which I got from Wilkinson's very cheap it came with a little plastic top uh, this is really good it almost works like a mini greenhouse it gets it very humid and that really helps the seeds to germinate if you don't have that you could use a shower cap <laughs> and that can go over here it could go over one pot I mean here it could even go over two pots the idea again is you're just keeping it really nice and humid and then here I've just got one of those freezer bags again that's really good you could just pop that over the top you can get these special plant saucers so that the water stays in here doesn't go everywhere uh, so that you can get plant trays this one actually comes with its own plant tray see there or you can just use regular saucers or a baking tray or just anything you've got to hand just to make sure the water's in there uh, watch them every day when the little green shoots start to appear then you'll take these off and that gives it a really good chance to grow so i've just been talking about the way that you plant your seeds but obviously you need to know when and seed packets very handily have got the months of the year and when you sow outdoors and when you can harvest or uh, when you can sow indoors and harvest so all the information is there so always just check that also really important which is what every year i forget to do is label your pots you think you'll remember you really won't uh, and everything comes up and it looks the same when you just don't know so these are again just stuff that i got from wilco's so that one was spinach and then this was our runner bean the great thing about these plant tags is you can rub this off and use it year after year after year so they do last a really long time if you don't have them you can put a bit of card the only problem with that is as you water them they will get wet so I've used a sharpie and used those so we won't rub the nails off 